Let's move now on to topic number four. And our fourth main topic today gets submitted to us by Taylor Mathewson, who writes, Greetings and salutations. So how come a movie like Man of Steel can't get a sequel, but The Last Witch Hunter does? Vin Diesel just said that they are developing a one which is very confusing since the first one didn't do all that well at the box office. What do you think about this? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yes... You, you guys know, I am a big Vin Diesel fan. I am an unapologetic big Vin Diesel fan. I love this guy, and I love seeing him and stuff. And hey, that doesn't mean everything he makes is great. The last Witch Hunter was not so great. I mean, one of the good things about it, though, was... Um, uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, I'm, the guy who played... Um, why am I forgetting his name? Elijah Wood. It's one of the last big, big films that we've seen Elijah Wood in. And so that's that's always good to see. But The Last Witch Hunter did simply not succeed. <laughs> it was a movie that lost the studio probably over $50 million. Uh, it only pulled in about, I believe, $146 million worldwide. That's it. That's how much money this movie made. And it wasn't a particularly good Vin Diesel movie. And it was years ago. So it was with some shock and astonishment that Vin Diesel was being interviewed and he did say this. He said, Lionsgate is coming and saying, we're putting a writer on for the next one. That's kind of cool. And this is just recent, by the way, because The Last Witch Hunter, because I'm in a meeting with Lionsgate and they actively, they're actively creating the sequel to The Last Witch Hunter right now. So Vin Diesel says they're developing A Last Witch Hunter. And I got to tell you, I, I, you know, let me break out my bilingualism here, Rob. Pourquoi? Like, wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> really? <laughs> like, really? Like, now, to be fair, the resurrecting of Vin Diesel properties, there's been some success. Like, look, they did uh, The Return of Xander, that la latest Triple X movie, The Return of Xander Cage, whatever. They made a, a bunch of respectable money on that movie. Maybe something like this could do the same, but it, it is it is a head scratcher. I don't understand why they would go back to that. I mean, we've got Bloodshot coming out. It's not looking like it's going to do very well. I, I don't know why the next thing you look at, because, you know, that movie made, oh, that movie cost almost $100 million to make, uh, the, the first one. So I, I'm a little bit confused, Rob. I don't really see the upside here. I don't know why they would do it. And I don't think there's many people asking for one either. Rob, you hear about this. What do you make of it? Well, I'm doing a cursory look at Box Office Mojo right now, John. And the budget for The Last Witch Hunter was $90 million. It made just shy of $11 million domestic. <laughs> and it made just shy of 120 million foreign for a total, a whopping grand total of 146 million three hundred and nine hundred thirty-six thousand nine hundred and ten dollars. Uh, as we all know, a movie needs to make three times its budget to even break even, and this movie was a hundred more than a hundred million dollars below that number. So the idea that they would be developing a last witch hunter movie to me seems like uh, science fiction, quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> and science fiction that'll never come true unless they're doing it as a series of DTV movies that they're making for four million bucks each or something. Uh, or I, I mean, I just I, I I they would have to make they would have to make another witch hunter movie for 90 million dollars just to recoup. I mean, and then that movie would have to make 300 million dollars. And that wouldn't even that wouldn't even recoup. There's no way. I don't believe it. Do you think maybe there could be any plausibility to say making another last witch hunter because fantasy stuff is pretty big right now right but say like bringing Hans it in around the same budget that say a bloodshot is operating on because i think bloodshot's budget is like a, a very i think a really modest like 47 million or i can't remember what the number was but i think it's pretty but let's say they were able to make a last witch hunter and they were able somehow to do it for like 41 million bucks with a little bit of recognition of the ip big star because fast nine will have come out by that point do you think there could be some validity to doing it if they could get that budget down to about half of what the budget was or do you think at that point it's still a lost cause i can't even see that because even if it was 40 million dollars if it made three times its budget you're looking at 120 million 
and the worldwide gross on the first last witch hunter was 146 million yeah so the economics just don't make any sense and you know in the case of a movie like bloodshot i re i read that the director he's a first time feature director who got his start he directed video game cutscenes and i'm curious because you know, as you well know, video game cutscenes have become more and more sophisticated. And there's some, I'd have to say, some really great filmmaking going on in certain video game cutscenes. And I've read a few positive uh, notices about Bloodshot. My friend uh, Dan Schwager, who admittedly his suspect or his taste is suspect, <laughs> but sometimes he sometimes he gets it right, was talking about how enjoyable that it was. And uh, I, by the way, that's again when I say his taste is suspect, I mean it. By the way, Dan, I've loved you. I've known you for 30 years. I'm just saying you know as well as I do that we disagree. But he did like the movie, and maybe it'll come out and um, and be good. And I think that's the way to do things, uh, making movies like that at that budget level. But a $40 million budget for Last Witch Hunter, that even that, I mean, though, I, I couldn't even – this movie is so far in the hole. I mean, it's a huge money loss, this movie. And I don't see how it – unless the one thing that we don't know – is maybe it was a huge hit on video and streaming. But and you and movie... I both know that video and streaming does not make up that kind of loss. No, you and I both doesn't. know that. It doesn't, but and, maybe And they today were it's even worse than it was before. So uh, I, uh, I don't know. It's an interesting thing here. Guys, what do you think about this? Do you think that this is just nonsense? Maybe you think it's a good idea. Maybe you feel like, no, today is the right time to do something like this. Strike while you can. This could be really good right now. Or maybe you're thinking like Robert, and I, honestly, I agree with him that it, this is just, there's just no conceive. There's no path to victory here for doing another The Last Witch Hunter. How do you guys feel about it? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right.